An attack of this scale, this breadth, would seem to suggest that Israel was either baiting Hezbollah into forcing the issue um, uh, or into it, it starting it itself. I mean, there is no better way to start a full-blown conflict than to take you know, 10, 20% of the entire fighting force of Hezbollah off the battlefield and destroy the command and control and communications infrastructure. Assuming that this was um, more than just making lithium batteries uh, uh, you know, override and overheat, but they had planted small amounts of explosives in each one of these pages, then this was unquestionably a calculated attack. There we know full well, watching what's happened in Gaza, that Israel games in a certain amount of collateral damage into its actions, uh, and obviously that has given way to a, a significant international debate about humanitarian law. Um, but yes, there have been civilian, civilian casualties in this, and it has probably hit Hezbollah operatives from the most senior to the most junior. It's just unprecedented in scale and sophistication, and it really does go to show just how deeply Israel has managed to infiltrate um, its adversaries in the immediate region. If we're on the brink of a major conflict, the idea that Hezbollah will be able to communicate from top down throughout its rank and file will have been presented with an enormous challenge given the news we've seen just in the last few hours. But most probably the Israelis have intercepted the supply chain interfered with uh, with the pagers, added a certain explosive material to the batteries or to the pager itself and, you know, sent it back to waiting for the right moment to do this. And it seems that this is the right moment to do this. So this is a very, very wide scale, unprecedented uh, security breach uh, by Israel against Hezbollah. And Hezbollah first statement was uh, they did not mention Israel, they did not accuse Israel, but immediately afterwards, less than an hour afterwards, uh, Hezbollah issued a second statement blaming Israel for this, which means that they will have to respond. They, its leadership realized that the cell phones have been breached, that uh, Israel has uh, access to all the telephone network and they know exactly where Hezbollah, any Hezbollah member or commander is, and the assassinations were happening at a very, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a very high frequency. So the Hezbollah's leadership decided that we're going to go back to more primitive, more basic means of communication. So they told everyone that we're getting you new pagers, which are these pagers. This is a new shipment that they ordered after they realized that they have been exposed to Israeli intelligence via the network. Now, if they don't have the pagers, if the pagers are going to explode and they're not going to use them anymore, and the cell phone is a dangerous network. Hezbollah's communication strategy, communication tools are broken. So this means that they're going to have a problem with communications. One of the scenarios that this is just a beginning to disrupt Hezbollah's communication network, a beginning of a much larger uh, military operation in Lebanon, where when Hezbollah cannot communicate with each other, the Israelis will have a better chance at winning or expanding the operations in Lebanon.